Hello. This is the version of me that no one really wants to see. But I just watched a video by Tessa Violet. She touched on something that I want to talk about, and that is femininity. I probably couldn't hear that because I unzipped this bag the same time I said femininity. In my video where I looked at those old magazines that I used to read when I was young. Because I always try to be quite hyper aware about talking about gender because I think it's really important to make sure that you're talking to people in a way that's comfortable for them in terms of their gender identity. I kind of touched on that a little bit in my video that I made with the magazines because I was really pointing out how Total Girl was like Total Girl and it was pink and it's kind of ridiculous that genders have colours which it is and I don't know if this is true or not the thing I always say especially I have this discussion a lot around my grandma because she talks a lot about like colours and that's a boy's colour that's a girl's colour so I always find myself saying you know Pink used to be a boys club because it was a stronger colour, but then in World War II, the Nazis gave everybody triangles in the camps and the homosexual triangle was pink. And then people started thinking that pink's like a feminine colour. Up until last year, I never wore makeup. And that's because I'm a drama kid and my idea of makeup was like stage makeup and it's just suffocating. And last year, I started doing my eyebrows for work and putting a little bit of like foundation on because I don't really sleep very well so I was just like got to cover that up because otherwise people are gonna be like are you, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? So I remember all through school everybody wore makeup. I never really felt that I had to because I've got really long eyelashes and pretty okay skin. The thing with that is I always try to not say I'm not a real girly girl because what, what, like what does that mean? What does that mean? Do you mind if I don't look at you? Because I'm just going to have to actually do this. And I feel like it's a bit of a comment on femininity. Yeah, I never wore makeup. Think back on it now. It was never a... That was my way of... Because you know how, you know, when you're growing up, everyone's sort of like, I want to be the same as everybody else. I wanted to be different. I always wanted to be different from everyone else. So that was kind of... I feel like it was my way of being a bit different. I never realised how much me being or not being feminine was an issue for me. I think that's because all the things I want in life expected of women in society. Because all I want in my life is to get married and have kids. I mean, I want other things too, like career goals and stuff. But for me, my happiness would be to be married and be stable and have children. I don't know if that makes me feel like I need to act a certain way. Because I'm, I'm also starting to, to doubt if I need to change that, that thing that I want. If that's something I shouldn't be striving for. Because it fits so well into what society expects of me. But that is, that is what I wanted. Like, when I was younger, I was never... I've been putting foundation on for like half an hour. Hold on. Let's just move on. <laughs> Don't do your own eyebrows. I just hecked mine the heck up. I look like a ghost person. Oh dear. Just ignore what this is happening because I need to actually carry on. I'm not even kidding you. The last six months of last year, I wore black jeans and a black t-shirt every day for six months. And I was comfortable. I kind of made it an opportunity for me to be really self-deprecating. And the last six months of last year were the worst six months of my entire life. And I feel like the way you dress and the way you, the way you present yourself can really change how you feel about yourself because I'm feeling slightly better about myself in, in some way. I don't know if it's a good thing. The way you present yourself impacts how you feel mentally or if you should just be able to feel good by yourself. Hopefully there's some sort of point in there that you can find. Hmm, there we go. I look very pale, but that's because I am very pale. This has been, um, this has been a little bit of a weird video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Venom. I don't know what day this is going to be, but thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.